Hey friends, so in conjunction with the blog that I'm doing this week, I thought I'd upload a video about what's in my book bag right now. Uh, I'm currently vacationing in Brazil for a month, so I had to scale back on what I was going to bring as far as books are concerned, but I wasn't very successful in that venture as I still have about seven books with me right now. But I'll go through those with you right now. Okay, so the first book that I brought was Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, uh, a pretty popular author, um, one of his first books. I read it back in college, towards the end of my college career, and it was one of the books that first whet my appetite for a world outside of uh, romance and mystery novels. Um, so it was kind of one of my gateway drugs into a whole new world of reading, so uh, I wanted to revisit that. It was very enjoyable. The second book I have with me is In Search of Lost Time by Marcel Proust, uh, à la recherche du temps perdu for my French audience. Um, really interesting book. My first time reading any of his work. It's my pre-bed book because it's interesting enough to suck you in, but dense enough not to keep you awake for too long. Uh, he has some great uh, descriptive sentences in here that are like run-on sentences that last for a page long, which just makes my high school Miranda very happy because he kind of like completely rejects uh, normal tendencies or what our high school teachers told us not to do. So I appreciate that from you. All right, my next book is Everything is Leaked, a book about hope by Mark Manson. Um, he's the author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Bleep. We're trying to keep it PG here, so not cussing. A uh, really interesting book. It took me a while to finally pick it up because it seemed a little bit gimmicky with the curse word on the front and everyone seemed to be like super fans of it so uh, people who know me know I don't like to do what everybody else is doing but I finally uh, gave in and I'm glad I did because it's a really interesting book. He takes really complicated subject matter and makes it very easy to understand, has some great analogies, and the footnotes in here are fantastic. If you don't read footnotes while you're reading, you're missing out on a lot of interesting information, and in this case, um, a lot of good jokes, so I definitely recommend it. One of my favorite books that I brought with me, I've already finished reading it actually, uh, I'm just going through it again and referencing it for some work that I'm doing currently, but it's called Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. Uh, really well written, very well organized, easy to go through. Um, he essentially helps organizations, businesses, NGOs, personal brands clarify their message and um, uses our human tendency to, be, to gravitate towards storytelling uh, in a way to draw people into the, the message that you're trying to convey. Uh, and he does a very good job, obviously. If he didn't, he probably wouldn't be the right one to write this book. Um, I would really recommend it if you're going through that process um, with an idea or um, an organization that you're working with, uh, even a personal brand. Super interesting. For those of you looking for financial advice, this is a book I would highly recommend. He takes complicated uh, concepts and makes them very easy and applicable. Um, things that you can start doing today. I've already implemented, implemented a lot of his advice and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's another book similar to the um, Everything is Believed uh, by Mark Manson. Uh, very irreverent. I really appreciate it. Um, the style. It's different, it's fresh, uh, and you can definitely learn a lot from this. So, save your money and earn some money by reading this book. My next book is a gift uh, from a friend. I haven't gotten around to reading it or even starting, but I know it's going to be great because I've already read uh, her other book, 
uh, what is it called, when things fall apart. Um, she has a way of taking profound truths and making them very concise and understandable. So I'm looking forward to this read. To be completely transparent, here is my guilty pleasure read uh, for the airplane. Uh, it's a romance. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's nice to have a book that's easy to read. To just You just flip the pages, you go through, and you forget that you're on a 10-hour flight. So that's what this book was for me. I picked it up in the airport. Um, cute use of footnotes, which was kind of, um, not ironic, but interesting in a, a book like this. It's just a fiction book, but putting footnotes to be funny, and it was. So, it's nice to have a book like this every once in a while as well. And we have a bonus book. It's a little baby size. Just a, a pocket book for um, a conversation guide uh, in Portuguese. My Portuguese at the moment is very horrendous, but I'm trying step by step uh, and an extra bonus to my bonus. It's French to Portuguese. So I'm working on two languages at once. Efficiency at its best. And I almost forgot, you can go ahead and click on the link. It should be provided below um, to this week's blog post where we'll be exploring a wide variety of subject matter, how it relates to us, how it can make us better people, better communities, and continue us on our path to greater knowledge. <laughs>